all right y'all so we're back out here at the rich redneck ranch and we had one heck of a storm last night probably one of the worst storms i've ever seen and apparently there was some massive flooding down the valley we live on the top of the valley so luckily we were perfectly fine but the people down lower in the valley there in georgetown itself is uh completely flooded so we have some pretty big vehicles as you guys can see and we're going to take a few of them down there, see if we can actually help some people out, get some people out of there. I heard there's actually quite a few people stranded there. So we're probably going to take the monster bus out there, get as many people as we can out of there, and then probably take one of the monster trucks here, see if we can get out just a few of the vehicles. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. So depending on the height of the water here, we may bring out a side-by-side -side or something. I don't know. But for now, we're just going to take the monster bus down, scout out the situation because it's literally the tallest vehicle we have. So it should have no issues going through any of that. And we can load up plenty of people in here. I was thinking about tossing this thing on the trailer and just bringing it down to the valley, but I think we're just going to drive it instead. That is probably going to be the fastest way to get down there. So there's a huge river that runs through the valley, and I guess that caused some major flooding down there and just the amount of rain and stuff it was just was not a good situation so i've heard there's going to be a lot of damage down there anyway we're going to check it out see what we can do hopefully i can make it down there so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right y'all we're just pulling into town right now and this is how it's looking not too great um so we're just going to take it easy down here yeah i think we should be fine with the monster bus uh it shouldn't give us any issues yeah we got plenty of clearance here all right let's just take it easy through here you can't even really see the road so i hope i'm on it i think i am man all of this is so flooded out wow i can definitely see some of my buddy's trucks that they didn't make it out we're probably going to come back and see if we can pull some of those out so they don't sit in the water too long oh yeah someone's walking through there the water isn't as high in some places, but I don't know. You're still probably not going to get through here with a car at least. Maybe a truck, but kind of varies from place to place in town, I think. All right, my buddy just gave me a call. He said his truck is stuck with his camper. I think it's just over there or something. I don't know. We'll go over there and see. He said it's stuck, so he's uh, going to see if we can get us to uh, get him out of there. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull him out because this thing doesn't have a hitch, but we'll see if we can at least get him out of there. Yeah, some of these places are uh, definitely looking a lot more flooded than others. Where is his truck? It's got to be somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's definitely looking a little bit sunk. He just said he's stuck right now, so can't get out. Yeah, I can see his back end sunk in there a little bit, so we'll see if we can get him out of there at least. Yeah, I knew this thing would come in handy eventually. All right, we'll just see if we can pull right up to the side of his truck here. I don't want to smack it with this tire. It's got to be nice and easy here. There we go. All right, we managed to grab him. He's sitting in the back there. We're going to go grab a few other people. And then we're going to come back here with one of the bigger trucks and see if we can pull some of these vehicles out so they don't have to sit in this water because who knows when it's going to go down. Hold on, is that is that Karen's car? I bet you that, that's Karen's Prius right there. Oh, I bet she's stranded. Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. I don't know. You can walk through this, but probably not the greatest. There's a few guys here with some really lifted trucks so they can get out pretty easily, but uh, a lot of other people, not so much. Especially if you hit something you can't see or uh, you get stuck on grass or dirt or something, then you're kind of screwed. Man, all of these buildings and places are just underwater. I'm pretty sure there was an evacuation order, but uh, it didn't end up happening fast enough. So a lot of these places got flooded out very, very fast. Oh man, the car dealership. No. Oh, that. Yeah, that's all underwater. Oh, man. The only car in there that's safe is the one on top. Oh, no. All of this is now underwater. Okay, there's two cars on top. Those are the only ones that are probably going to be good. Oh, man. That sucks. The only place that doesn't seem to be underwater is uh, the courthouse. That's about it. It's a little bit higher. And uh, it seems to just be above the water. Yeah, the water's definitely a little less deep over here, which is nice. But we're just pulling up here to go pick up one of my other friends. That's uh, Unfortunately, they got a little G-Wagon there, and that thing's uh, not wanted to start at the moment. They think it's flooded or something. So we're going to see if we can maneuver ourselves into here. I should really turn on rear steer because this is not working out too well. See, look at this. Look at this. We can just pull right on up. I think so. We're pretty close. All right. Yeah, that's pretty dang close right there. We'll be able to grab him now. All right, we've spent a few hours going around town picking up everybody. So we got uh, some people now that we can actually take to uh, some dry land. 
I guess they already sorted out housings for people that uh, got their houses flooded out. It's just on the top of the valley there. So we're just going to take them on up there. And uh, we're going to head back down with a few of the guys and see if we can get some of these trucks out. Hopefully save a few of the vehicles if we can. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So a few of the guys brought some of their vehicles out here to uh, come and get some of the stuff out. But someone brought an airboat, which is pretty cool. And an Argo. I've, I've not seen one of these in a while. This thing looks pretty cool. As well, uh, someone brought a 6x6 six six and a uh, lifted razor, which is pretty cool. But I got Monster Max here. This is probably one of the taller vehicles. Of course, not as tall as the uh, Monster Bus, but uh, it should do the job, I'm pretty sure. It's got a chain on the back here, so we can actually tow out some vehicles. So this thing should do the job, I hope. We'll see. Now, I don't got uh, duels on it, so of course, it ain't going to float. But uh, I think we're going to manage it. So the first one we're going to go get out is uh, that camper and truck. If we can, we're going to see what we can do there. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Karen's car, uh, the, the, uh, the little Prius there. I, I, I think I can stay there. Yeah, yeah. She, she doesn't really need to go anywhere. She got picked up. She's not in her house, but uh, I think her car can stay there. You know, she gives us enough trouble. All right, there is that truck. We're just going to cut through, uh, cut through his lawn if he doesn't mind. All right, we managed to get the chain attached here. So we're going to see if we can get this thing out. I don't know. We're going to see. It is starting to get late, so I'd like to get out sooner than later. Yeah, we're just going to tow this thing right on out of here. Right to the dry ground. As you guys can see there on the side, it's kind of like a ditch. Like this entire town is like sunk into the ground a little more. So uh, it pretty much is keeping the water there. I talked to a few people and apparently the flooding's not going to go down for at least three days. So uh, yeah, we're trying to get all the vehicles we can out of here so they don't have to sit in this water and hopefully they're going to be salvageable. The flooding happened earlier last night, so uh, we're still good. I think on these vehicles here, we're just trying to get them out. They've only been sitting out here for probably 10 hours or so in this deep of water. Of course, it's been rising overnight, but uh, to get to the point where it is now, it's only been about 10 hours. So it's pretty much as soon as it stopped raining, we were out here grabbing people and trying to get uh, a lot of this stuff out of here. Even though that truck is a lifted one, it's still uh, it's sunk down there pretty good. So hopefully it should be fine. We'll see. I wouldn't mind taking that little airboat for a spin there. I think that'd be fun. There we go. Just get it towed right up on this hill here. Perfect. That should do it. All right. I just got a call from a group of guys that's uh, getting the other vehicles from the other side of town dealt with. So we don't have to deal with those. That was kind of just the one we had to deal with for now, at least, unless there's a few more. I'm going to actually jump in this little airboat here and uh, we're going to go do a little scouting out, see if there's anything we are missing. And if so, we'll come back and uh, get it with Monster Max. And this thing seems so fun. And off we go. All right, man. This thing goes. Oh. You can just whip around in this thing. I got to be careful. I don't want to tip it or break anything because it's not mine. I want one though now. I mean, not very practical unless you got a flood to deal with, but uh, yeah. All right. I think I see someone's car there. I don't know whose that is. Oh, it's a Hellcat. No. Oh, that thing's going to be toast. There's no way we... I don't... Can we get it out of there? Maybe we can. Because I don't know. The water kind of goes up, starts going away over there. So maybe we can tow this thing out of here. I don't know the owner or anything, so really don't want to touch their car oh that's such a shame that's such a nice hellcat too all right let's uh whip around here and see what else there is yeah sorry karen your car can uh stay right there for now yeah all right one more truck right here i've confirmed with the owner we can get it towed out with him so uh we are gonna go grab monster max we'll get this one towed out i don't know where the hitch is oh boy that might be an issue i think he he might have one in the truck there, so I'll call him and get him to put it in. But that's probably the last one we're going to get out for this afternoon. It's starting to get pretty late, so we don't want to be doing this in the dark because I, I can barely see under the water right now. So I don't imagine once it gets dark, it's not going to be fun at all to deal with. So we're going to try to get this stuff out of here as soon as we can. And that can go right there. All right, you know what? We're just going to flip on all the lights for Monster Max here. We're going to get maximum light. All right, let's go grab this last truck. We'll head on home. Luckily, we don't have to deal with uh, any of this at our own house. It's pretty nice living on top of the valley. All right, we managed to get the truck hooked up here. And we're just going to get it back to the uh, dry land there. The owner was very happy that we were able to pull this thing out for him. Because unfortunately, this thing just would not start. And there we go. Back on dry land. For now, at least, hopefully the water doesn't rise anymore. There we go. I bet he is happy. Well, we managed to get uh, some of the vehicles out here. I don't know what's uh, going to happen with this truck, but we got it out at least. It's, it's good now, but uh, it sounds like from 
what the other guys were telling me is at least most of the vehicles are out of there now all the people got evacuated finally so uh they are good but anyway guys that's gonna be the end of the video for today if you did enjoy smash that like button also if you're new consider subscribing hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see y'all